Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 25 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where, uh, I've got some uranium bees. They're all grown up. Uh, I've let them chill in here. You can see they're producing uraninite combs, uh, and then they come out. They both have actually decent stats. Um, they have, like, high productivity, which is cool. Um, now the one problem I'm having is bees like to wander. Whee! As demonstrated by this little guy down here. What are you doing down here, Mr. B? What are you doing down here? Tisk tisk. That's not where you belong. So I have a, a couple thoughts. One, I probably wouldn't mind maybe throwing these bees in a compact machine. And and it occurs to me it might be fun to do like a few things with compact machines. Is that in the pack? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's what's up. We've got energy fluid and item tunnels. That's cool. Chunk loader upgrade, huh? Use on a bound machine block to apply upgrade. Well, that's neat. I guess that just chunk loads the... Doesn't look like it has a recipe, though. So maybe that's a work in progress item or it's been disabled in the pack. Either way, we can chunk load through, you know, FTB chunks. Standard approach. So uh, that's what I'm thinking I'd like to get into today is some compact machines. And then, A, that'll kind of help with the whole wandering thing. And B, it'll give me, like, a few places to put things, you know, that'll be cool. So what's involved in making these bad boys, right? If I want to max size, uh, we just need a block of netherite, which isn't terrible. Uh, and compact machine blocks are polished deep slate. Okay. And that is just cobbled deep slate. We're going to have to figure out how to get that. So there's a flower for it, Deep Slate Essence. Okay, I can probably look into making one of those bad boys. Uh, pure daisies can turn endstone into Deep Slate. wonder if Deep Slate exists in uh, in that whatchamacallit mod. Oh, pure bees turn endstone into cobbled Deep Slate. That's cool. Igneous Extruder can get it for me with a little bit of packed ice. Okay, what would be involved in making me, you guys? Just four Deep Slate and I'll be good. Now let's pop into the Twilight Forest and see if Deep Slate exists. Alternatively, it might exist in that other dimension. That's also a possibility. I'm just going to go straight down in Twilight and see. I don't know what, what Twilight's world gen looks like now in 118. Like, does it go... Well, we're at negative 12, so I mean, clearly, yes, it goes down. But I don't see Deep Slate happening here. Digging straight down, as you're supposed to do in Minecraft. Oh, hello. Interesting, you hit Bedrock around negative 30. That's cool. Cool. Alright, let's try that other dimension. Because if we have one deep slate, we got it from somewhere, right? That's what I'm thinking. There we go. This place had that all the modium stone. Now I remember, yeah, we had to stick around like roughly Y level zero, zero ish. Huh. Why does other diamond ore take so long to mine? So there's eight blocks. Is it because of the tool I'm using? Boon of the Earth Fortune. You will mine very fast. I don't see anything on here that looks like it would give me a problem mining ores, right? That's interesting. Do you think it has something to do with that? I don't know. That's weird. Isn't that weird? I feel like that's weird. Anyway, uh, let's go deeper. Deep slate. Nice. 
I can probably just get a bunch. Yeah, deep slate mines, no problem. What are you, deep slate lead ore? Okay. I'll light it up so you guys can have a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing. So I got... Oh yeah, remember there's like a... There's an enchant on there that says it'll give me a chance at getting random ores when I mine. Okay. Weird that I can't mine any ores. Well, there, oh, suddenly I can. Okay, cool. I don't know what that was all about. That was a thing, right? Uh, it should be enough for now, and then we'll make the seeds for it when we when we want to. Okay. I'm just going to put all this junk in here. I'll put that bee casing away. And, uh, yeah, let's come back in a sec. All right, let's jump right into it. So I should now be able to uh, make a compact machine. I think I might start with the giant one just because netherite while not hard to get uh, i'm gonna hold off so let's see i should be cool polished needs a bunch of this so then we're gonna want eight of these and one of these nice okay cool and then we're gonna want uh the personal shrinking device which we can get easily beautiful Quest completed, compact machines, hooray. Ooh, that's tips and tricks. I should review the other tips and tricks and see if there's anything. Oh good, personal shrinking devices in here. That's cool. Where should I set up? What I'm thinking is, I want an area designated for all my compact machines. And it'll kind of be like, you know, here's gonna be a bunch of like self-contained automations and things. You know, that might be pretty cool. And we might wind up moving a few things in there as well, just to kind of keep the overworld nice and neat and tidy. We'll see. I don't want to go, like, too crazy with it, but I also want to go pretty aggressive with it. I don't want to be, you know, big old messy island dire as usual. Because that's usually my style. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I could throw it over here with the other dimensional stuff. That might be cool. Yeah, it could be neat. All right, so... If I recall correctly, I just right-click with the personal shrinking device, and then we pop into that dimension. And then we right-click again without, and uh, in and out. Sweet. What I'm thinking I might do... What if we put an item frame on this guy? Can we do that? With uh, maybe a honeycomb? And that'll indicate this is our bees dimension. Is that neat? I like that plan. Sweet. Now the next question will be, uh -huh. can the bees operate in that dimension? It's a really, really good question. Uh, speaking of my bees, where are my two uranium bees? Because those are like the guys I care most about, and they seem to have gone AWOL. Are they at the bottom of the world again? I'm going to say yes. Guys, this is why I'm making you your own dimension. This is why. Go on, get into your home. Thank you. Sweet. Bees three. Honey level three. I'm going to bring my uraninite. Uh, I'm going to bring some dirt. all the things actually uh let's put away some junk we don't necessarily need right now you can go away you can go away and you don't need to exist cool and then you were my extra bees i'm gonna put away you at the moment so i can bring in this chest with me excellent now, hopefully the bees will have no problem operating inside the compact machine. We'll see. If they, yeah, they might. I don't know. I have no idea. We're going to play this one by ear a little bit. Yeah, it should be cool. And then maybe over here can start to be like the, the blocks that the bees need to pollinate with otherwise. 
And then we're going to want U2. I don't see any reason they can't live right next to each other, right? There we go. Nice. Now, is there... I'm assuming there's a time in here, right? So what I'm going to do is sleep through the night in the overworld. And hopefully the bees will pop out and be okay in that dimension. I have no idea what to expect. So hopefully you guys decide you can come out of there. I guess we'll see. Hey, yeah. What's up, bees? Sweet. All right. All right, pollinate, please. Oh, cool. There you go. All right. And then uranium bee, you can go pollinate over here. You know what? I'm going to move you to be a little bit closer to this thing. Cool. Nice. So I'm guessing you guys will pollinate and do your stuff. Now, where is the other uranium bee? Is he still in here? No. Where is the other uranium bee? Oh, good. They're both up there. Whew. They were a little bit, uh, they're a little flighty, these bees. Let me just put it that way. But yeah, I think they're all good in here now. So presumably I can chunk load this. And presumably I just go away and come back and we'll have, you know, a bunch of stuff going on, right? And then I can, you know, extract items and do all that fun stuff. Uh, and, and dump it into the things, you know, all kinds of cool things that can be done with that. So let's do, you know what I should do is I should set up an ender chest. And I should probably also consider... Yeah, there's a few things I should consider, to be honest with you. I should put these things in there, and I should put my chest with all that junk in it. And I should get some more bottles. We need more glass than that, don't we? Yeah, it'll do for now. Yeah, let's get our standard white ender chest, right? Cool. And then we can do an import bus. And what I'm thinking we might want is, do we want like... A drawer system for the bee combs and stuff? I don't know. Because alternatively, we could automate the processing of it. That might not be a bad idea, because then it'll turn into uraninite, and that would be that would be cool. Um, but maybe, maybe a drawer just for, like, the raw vanilla honeycombs? Like, I think all the other honeycombs we would, like, auto-process, but, you know. That should be cool. Do we have an open drawer slot here? Not really ish, but what we could do is set this up. Get these two locked, connected, and then honeycombs can go in there. Sweet. Should we put the honey bottles in? I don't feel like they're going to accumulate that much, but they might. They might. So maybe, maybe we do that too. And while we're at it, I want to mention something that I, I noticed on uh, the comments of the YouTube videos. Somebody mentioned that there's a disc that works like refined storage discs in this pack from AE2 things. I want to try that out. 64K ME disc drive, deep item storage disc. Storage for dummies. Hey, that's me. Okay. So then if we wanted to take our uraninite combs that we've got, and we wanted to process them, what we would need is a centrifuge from Protective Bees. So 
So what's the difference between a heated centrifuge and a powered centrifuge and a regular one? I assume powered means, you know, RF. Where did I put that B book? Uh, holds 10 buckets of liquid, which can be pumped out. The centrifuge will also automatically output fluid to any fluid storage block. Uh, the powered centrifuge takes FE to run it and increase processing speed. The centrifuge is also used to separate genetic material from bottles of B material into Bs. Nothing about the heated centrifuge, though. Interesting. Yeah, no, no details on what the heated does. Well, it needs an inactive dragon egg, so I guess we're not going to make that anytime soon. Uh, powered centrifuge needs a centrifuge, which is not bad. There we go. Powered centrifuge. Nice. So let's do a little bit of logic courtesy of laser IO. That should be doable, right? And let's get you back so that I can take all this stuff. And I might want the overclockers, so that'll be good. Oh, wrong dimension. This is my shrinky shrinky thingy. So many dimensions. So, can I access from the top of these guys? I guess that's a question we're going to answer in a moment. Uh, so, this chest over, probably in this corner, will wind up holding all the extra B dudes. Uh, and for now, I'll put the incubator and the breeding chamber in there. But the centrifuge is going to be definitely an important part of this. And I think I will actually move this guy back to the other side. Maybe I'll stick them right here-ish. That should be fine, right? So let's put the centrifuge here, right? And we can stick a little bit of power on him. Boom, it's easy enough. And I assume I just do this and that's it. Not terrible. Yeah, we got a little bit of honey out of that and wax and raw uraninite. Okay, cool. So what we'll probably want to do, and it occurs to me I should probably have some filters going on here. I should probably teach you how to make filters. So how about you? And you. Do you know how to make the observer yet? I know I have a bunch, but no. So let's teach you that too. Okay. So let's get, I probably want 20 issue you. Does that seem fair? And maybe 30 issue you. Should be good. There, now we got all the filters we'll need. Almost went to the nether again. Oh look, somebody's filled up with honey. All right, cool. Yeah, no, you can get your 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 glass bottles. You can get some bunch of that too, and that's cool. Nice. So then, on the down, can we extract? It looks like it. It's got a laser drawing, which means that this is an item handler, which means it can, you know, allow items to extract. So that's cool. And then if I were to just put a chest here, so let's do this. Let's put on, let's put on you on the down and insert on green, but we want to filter uraninite combs. And then also on the down, let's see if he's smart and will allow us to do something like this. Extract on the same channel on white. And then we don't have this set up to do anything yet, so we'll see what lands in here. Cool? Okay, so you extracted your things. 
Well, that's cool. We should give you a high priority, though. Um, or we could blacklist here. That might be the right way to go. So how about deny your anime films? Is that cool? But I'd like to see you produce your uranonite comb, have it extracted, and it's allowed to go in there now. I could have done that with a priority, but I was concerned that eventually we might have multiple bees going on. And if I did it with a priority, it would overflow into this, which I don't want. I never want, I always want those combs to be processed. So this actually is working very well. This is pretty slick, right? How cool is this? I like this. This is good, right? We're getting honey bottles. We're getting liquid honey. Um, so you're making the bottles and we could do some kind of like keep in stock ender chest thing, uh, which I might wind up doing at some point in the future anyway, but for now it's cool. I should do something with this honey though. I should make like a tank or something to store it in. Cause it did say that it would, it would put all the honey into an adjacent tank. So let's do this. Let's get you. You, you, and you. Ultimate fluid tank. So now we'll just have a bunch of honey. And I'm not sure what'll happen if that thing backstuffs. So should I get a trash can? Yeah. We'll see what happens. I'm curious if it back stuffs or not. It'll take a while to get to that point anyway. Right? So in theory, you should be getting the honey now. Sweet. It did say it would, it would output to the adjacent fluid tanks, so that's good to know. And I'd call that pretty well automated, honestly. Pretty good, right? And then we can augment our bee system right in here. So our bees will always live in here. Uh, they'll fly around, they'll do their thing, and they'll produce. And that's pretty cool by me. Right? I like that. I like that a lot. Let's set up the import bus. Um, and we might want to throw, only because I'm noticing we're getting a lot of wax, we might want to throw that into here. And is uraninite in a drawer? I should probably have uraninite in a drawer. That's raw uraninite, and this is a regular uraninite. I'm just gonna toss you in there. Wow, that is fast. Holy cow, I love it. So give me two drawers, one for wax and one for uraninite. So you and really put you in like the main drawer section, though I could technically throw it in that compacting drawer there. I think I'll just do that. So lock uraninite, lock wax, added, added. Sweet. All right. Got a lot of things over here. How about, oh my goodness, are you really using that many channels? Now you're only using eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, what I should do here, I should, I should either do this with P2P or with thicker cables. One or the other is what I should be doing. Okay. That should be a lot nicer. Cool. Okay. What I'll do now probably is, you know what? This looks like as good a place as any. For an ender chest to live with an import bus on it. 
Sweet. And I probably want some acceleration cards in there. Yoink. It's a little slow, isn't it? A little bit. You know, technically I could just, you know, transfer it into here. We'll see what happens. If it becomes a problem in the future, we can always change it up. But it would save me a channel if I just dumped it into that interface. All right, cool. So, uh, hey, bees is pretty neat. We'll probably look at doing a few more of them in a little bit. All right, so I think I'd like to do a couple tweaks to AE while we've got a little time in this episode. So what I'm thinking is this. I'm going to get rid of all these inscribers that I've got and ideally upgrade them to advanced inscribers from AE2 things. And let's see how much better they behave. Hey, what? Hey, what? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Explain what is this about? Anyone? What in the what is going on here? Okay. Okay. Are we cool? Maybe. <laughs> what? what was that? I don't even know. Um. So you were the logic. You were probably engineering. You were probably silicon. And I well, don't know. You're probably calculation. And you're probably silicon. Actually, it might have been calculation first. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Because I don't think I put filters on these guys, right? I, I rely. Well, I did. Diamond. Okay, cool. I did put filters on them. Gold. And Certus. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to want more acceleration upgrades for you guys. Sweet. All right, let's try. Are these things just faster now? What's the deal? Definitely better. Where are you sending everything though? Because I would expect you to send it to here and you're not. Uh, what? What are these things called? Circuits? Did they land in here? They landed in here. How did they land in here? Oh, I bet I know what happened. I bet it, it extracted after it went in there. Yeah, I bet that's what happened. All right, so we probably want to rearrange how some of this goes, right? Um, let's do this. I bet I could do something cool here uh, with 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 my mod. I bet I could do something cool. So what if we you're inserting that? What if instead we said no extracts for you? You don't have any filters on your extract, right? What if we got rid of the extract on all you guys? And instead. We did this. Do I have the thingy? I do, but it's going to suck all that stuff in there. Well, let's just do this then. I bet I can make this a little bit more efficient. Sweet. All right, cool. So you're going to insert redstone dust. What if I told you to also stock? This, 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 and that. How's that sound? Is that cool? And transfer eight items at a time. Sure, why not? Okay. And you can be a fast dude. 
Okay, so you're going to be allowed to accept sort of squirts. You're going to be allowed to accept gold. You're going to be allowed to accept that. What I do also need to do is add to the filters here. So you will be allowed to either accept or pull via stocking mode the printed calculation circuit. And this guy can do this one, and this guy can do this one, and this guy can do silicon. And then for stocking mode, that looks cool, right? And then how about on the extract, which is now going to be color orange, let's have you on orange, but we want to filter. I always forget the names of these things, processors versus circuits, like that. Cool. That should work. Now if I did this and this, you should be happy. You've got three extra of those, not a big deal. Okay, now if I wanted, let's say 10 calculation processors, what should happen is you should start doing that and then you should Where are they going? You think the advanced inscriber like automatically puts them into the thing? Is that possible? Is that what the advanced inscriber does? Do you think it's like automatically insert? No, it shouldn't be, right? I wouldn't think so. But you're just an item card and you would be stocking. And I thought these things didn't have any sidedness concerns, right? I don't think so. That's weird. Uh, give me a minute to look into what kind of weirdness might be going on here. I thought this would be like a super easy slam dunk and like it's being strange. So let's eliminate a factor here, right? Let's take this card out for a sec so that there is no interaction here. And now if I just got a piece of gold and stuck it in there, wherefore art thou circuit? Really? Do you like auto into the system? Because that's not at all an expected thing. That might be what's going on. Let me look into A2 things for a minute. So apparently, that's exactly what's happening. Uh, the items that go in here automatically get pulled into the A2 system, which unfortunately I don't see a way to disable. Like, I don't see like a, a UI button that says, hey, don't do that. I don't want that. I want to, because it means I have to like do a whole lot more changes to the way this works. Like, we're going to have to have twice as many patterns and like we're going to, it's a pain. It's a pain. Uh, I guess. I guess. Are there any other dudes working right now? No, that's about it. Shouldn't I have seven of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, no, I guess I only did six. Um, so I guess what I could do here is rather than be stock mode, I could have you be insert mode, right? And I guess technically to save a card, I could just put redstone in there and then Do this. That works, right? Okay. And then maybe we take these guys out and we modify them to be this.
right? So then the diamond circuit and the silicone. And as you can see, I looked up the circuit etcher from Lazier AE because I'm considering doing that, but probably not in this episode, probably next episode. We'll see. So then you would just be this, right? And you would be this. And then finally the silicon would be that. See how many more stinking patterns I need now? Goodness gracious. Uh, but at this point, we should be able to request that and it should be behaving right yes cool okay so if i want like 10 of you 10 of you and 10 of you this should all work pretty good yeah Looks good-ish to me-ish. Yeah, I guess it knocked out those first few. All right, that works. So for now, Doll Toy sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time. Now that we've got the bees set up, so we've got three ways to produce resources. We've got bees, we've got mystical agriculture, and we've got sieving. Uh, what we'll probably start doing is working on a new mod next episode uh, because we have to kind of go through a majority of the mods in this pack in order to get to the end game. So we'll start with a new mod. All right, for now, that's my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.